Welcome back to another stoichiometry video. Um, today we're talking about gas stoichiometry. So gas stoichiometry is the idea of a chemical reaction involving one or more gases. We're either going to have one as a reactant or a product or maybe a little bit of both. So gas stoichiometry is the idea of using the ideal gas constant or some other piece of information related to the ideal gas constant to convert from the volume, temperature, and pressure of a gas to quantities of another substance. We are going to talk about one example, the volume, what volume of oxygen at STP, that's really important, is needed to burn 15 grams of propane in a barbecue burner. Okay, so we've got oxygen reacting with propane. As we always do, we start off with a balanced chemical reaction in stoichiometry. Well, let's try that out. So we're going to have propane reacting with oxygen. And it's going to produce, well, we're assuming complete hydrocarbon combustion. So it's going to produce carbon dioxide gas and water vapor gas. Perfect. Let's balance this bad boy. So we've got three carbons. We might as well put a three in front of the carbon over there. We've got eight hydrogens. So we'll do four times two is eight hydrogens. So three times two, six carbons, sorry, six oxygens, uh, plus four oxygens is ten. So we have to have five oxygens there. Let's just double check. Three carbons, three carbons. 8 hydrogens, 4 times 2 is 8 hydrogens, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10, 5 times 2 is 10 oxygens. No problem, Whoop. no problem whatsoever. So now that we have this information, now that we have our balanced chemical reaction, we can get into building our puzzle pieces below the reaction. So let's put we know from the question. It's looking for a volume of oxygen. So I'm going to put V question mark because that's what we're looking for. Uh, is needed to burn 15 grams of propane. So the mass of the propane, 15 grams of C3H8. It's really, really important. I cannot stress this enough. It's really important that we label our values. So it's not 15 grams of anything, it's 15 grams of propane. And that's really going to help us out when we go to set up our stoichiometry equation. Okay, so when we do stoichiometry, we always relate the number of moles of one substance to another. So we're going to need the moles of propane to get the moles of oxygen. How do we turn mass into moles? Well, the way we turn mass into moles is with the molar mass. So the molar mass of propane is 44.11 grams of C3H8 per one mole of C3H8. And so if I want to relate these two things together, I'm probably going to have to flip one of them. We're not quite sure yet, and that's okay. Well, if I want to go from moles of propane, moles of propane to moles of oxygen, I'm going to need the molar ratio. So the molar ratio in this case, well, it's always unknown over given. So our unknown is 5 moles of oxygen over 1 mole of C3H8. What this just means is it means that it takes 5 moles of oxygen to react with 1 mole of C3H8. And that's how we exchange between moles of one and moles of the other. Okay, now we want to relate the moles of oxygen to the volume of the oxygen, and that's where this piece of information is going to come in so unbelievably handy. Because at STP, we should know that one mole of oxygen will take up 22.4 liters of oxygen. 
Nice. That's what I'm talking about. So now we can convert from grams of uh, propane to moles of propane. Then we can convert from moles of propane to moles of oxygen. Then we can convert from moles of oxygen to volume of oxygen. So we absolutely have everything that we need in order to finish this problem. Let's try and write it out. In stoichiometry, what we do, at least in my class, is we always start with what we want. Absolutely, start with what we want. What do we want? We want the volume of oxygen. So I'm looking for the volume in liters of oxygen. Well, the only piece of information that I know that has volume of oxygen is our information about the STP here. So we're going to start out with that 22.4 liters of oxygen for every one mole of oxygen. So I have the unit that I want. That's the unit that I want. All I have to do is cancel out moles of oxygen and then cancel out anything else, any other unit that shows up. So let's try and cancel out moles of oxygen. If I want to cancel out moles of oxygen on the bottom, I have to have moles of oxygen on the top. So I'm going to use my molar ratio. Five moles of oxygen will react with one mole of C3H8. So what this means is that moles of oxygen and moles of oxygen will cancel out. Lovely. Now we just need to cancel out moles of propane. Well, where else do I have moles of propane? I have moles of propane in the molar mass, in the molar mass of propane. But I'm going to have to flip that um, unit conversion, that molar mass. One mole of C3H8 for every 44.1 grams of C3H8. Awesome. This is fantastic. Moles of C3H8, moles of C3H8 cancel out. So I still have my mass of propane. Well, no problem. I know that we have 15 grams of C3H8. So grams of C3H8, grams of C3H8 cancel out. So in my calculator, if I put 22.4 times 5 times 15, all divided by 1 times 1 times 44.1 times 1. So when I put that into my calculator, I should get 38 liters of oxygen. If I burn 15 grams of propane, it will require 38 liters of oxygen in order to completely combust. Perfect.